What is going on my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. You didn't know I could rap. You didn't know I am fat because I'm behind the camera. Okay, what am I doing? Let's go. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Whenever I make a mess and I'm doing something, which is basically every day that ends with why. I have projects always going on in the store because that's uh, how this shop works. This uh, coral reef shop here in Toronto specializes in bam saltwater aquariums and um, Wabi Sabi, we are never done. We were just talking about this. Wabi Sabi, it means everything is always changing. There's beauty and per imperfection and nothing is perfect, but we're always in, uh, in pursuit of perfection. I think that's a Lexus. I think Lexus the car has a trademark on that pursuit of perfection. Okay, what are we doing here? Why do I have one Studio Flat 6 set up? That looks pretty cool with a mantis shrimp. And why do I have another one right next to it? Because, uh, I want to make some changes. I want to make the coolest cabinet ever. So when we set up a tank, so much love goes into obviously the tank and we want our glass looking clean and our sand bed looking clean and the corals to be happy, healthy and growing with wonderful saltwater fish. And we put time and thought into our lights. You know, we want to get the best ones or the ones that we think are the best. In my case, it's the Hydra 32 HDs right now. Uh, for this tank. If it was a smaller tank, I would recommend something else. We put thought into the power heads, into dosers, into controllers, and I feel the stand sometimes just gets neglected. Over here on this tank, it has become my dog's bed, but he's not here today. He sleeps under there. And on this tank, I want to do something a little bit different. So I had my friend make this custom glass front door, and I want to show off the stand. I want to show off what's going on underneath. So I've also done this nifty little pullout drawer that's here because I find that when I'm refilling my auto top off, it's kind of a pain in the butt to pick the container up. But with this, slide it out, we fill back our ATO, which is over here. It's just drying right now. Um, and then when you're done with it, you stick it back in. Ta-da! And then I'm doing our power hub little situation here. So I like when the wiring is really neat. And also another benefit of that is safe. We don't ever want to have power bars on the floor. God forbid there's a leak. So right now, ours was like this. Ta-da! On the floor sitting right next to um, our ATO reservoir. And that's not good because if we have water on the floor and this gets wet, we're in trouble. So what I'm doing is putting it up nice and high. And I'm gonna wire all the wires through this hole that I've drilled here. And then I'm gonna put really cute little icons on this so that we know which one is which. So we can have our skimmer, return pump, ATO, lights, Sono speaker, or whatever else you decide. And then finally, I'm gonna touch it off nicely with, where are they? This, ta-da, some really cool LED lights. Why? Because they're fun and colorful and it's just gonna draw your eyes and attention to this tank, which is going to house our mantis shrimp. Why am I switching the tanks? We have um, a newer version of our, it's slight, slight modifications. This one is now two years old. You can see the silicone here is clear. This one is black. Minor changes to the um, overflow in here. And I also wanna change the rock work. I know we just set it up and it looks pretty cool and funky. The only thing is this mantis shrimp is so much smarter than I gave him credit for. And he's able to easily hide um, basically all day. We don't get to see him or enjoy him unless I put my hands in there and uh, disturb him. Then we can get Mr. Twinkie to come out. And I don't wanna bother him so much, so I'm gonna re rethink the rock work. Even though this is really cool, it's just not it's not working for what I like. I'm gonna give him some hiding space, but I don't want, there's just so, I didn't think he could burrow under this 10 pound piece and, and move it, but he, we often find that he's chilling uh, like somewhere under here or along the back and uh, he's just hidden. So it ends up being a cool looking tank with some funky rock and then people ask, oh, what's in here? We want it to be him to be like immediately visible more or less at all times with maybe one hiding spot that's easy for him, for, still for us to spot. So I'm gonna rethink the rock work completely. That happens with a lot of things here in the store. Like we'll do it once and then I gotta go back and then rethink. So if you came in, I think it's almost five years now, the, the tanks actually used to run this way. They used to run, um, now they run this way down the middle of the store, but all three of them used to run, um, if we were thinking this as vertical, horizontal, so the other orientation with the overflow backing there. So it'd be like one, two, three, it'd be all our wet stuff, and then you'd walk into the store, and then we'd have the hardware. What I realized with that setup was, by having the tanks on the wall, 
I lost all of this retail space and uh, it occurred to me one afternoon and by the next week I was ripping down the entire shop and rearranging the tanks. It took about a month and a bit. It wasn't fun, but I got to redo everything I wanted to do the first time. So if you ever build a store like this or just a reef tank in general, I think a lot of you will know, um, hindsight's 2020. Once it's all set up and built, there's so many things you could go back and change. It's pretty good now. There's little things, tiny little things, but nothing major like switching the orientation of all the tanks like I did that one time. So that's what I was trying to say about the rock. It was a really cool idea and I still like the way it looks. Maybe we'll use it somewhere else or maybe if someone wants it and you know, we'd be happy to sell you Tia's custom made um, Marco rock here, but I'm gonna make a new one. Let me get back to work. I'm gonna wire this in. I'm gonna set up the LED lights. I'm gonna put the door back on and then I will give you a glimpse of how my crazy mind works. Okay, bam. Check it out. How's that look? I think it looks pretty sweet and it gives it a nice touch. I could do a little bit better job, I think, on the... Ah, oh, man, I gotta make this stick out so it can actually... Oh, there we go. Da -da -da -da. Look at that. Party stand. Party stand. Party stand. Party stand. Party, 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 party. No, 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 it wasn't working. But uh, that's it, look at that. Gonna... Yeah, it is, it's right here. It's what? the music. Okay, so you turn it on, right? Okay, press it. And then it. we have to play music. Okay, play some music. Oh no, then YouTube's gonna demonetize me. No, leave it, we, won't, we don't wanna get demonetized. But I think it looks pretty sweet, look at that. Uh, we just have to reinstall the ATO. Kavina's gonna draw us a nice little sticker of Twinkie to stick in the corner of our yellow mantis. And I went with some new sand. I wanted to do something a little bit more fine than the sand that we typically use. It's not the finest sand, but it's finer than this. Damn, that sand is fine! I am going to start working on the new rock work. I'm going to get the ATO installed here on the bottom. But uh, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with it. I think I might add a backing. I don't know if I like seeing through the stand. You see, you can see like in the back there, look at that RMS 15, R mounts. I think it might look a little bit more sleek with that. What do you guys think so far? Okay, that's it. It is done. It's set up. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Twinkie seems to love his new home. Super minimal rock work because like I said, I want to see him at all times. Maybe it's a little bit selfish of me and he doesn't have a lot of hiding space, but we're going to do some cool macro algae in this one or maybe not. You know what? I haven't fully decided, but uh, Kavina is taking home this tank here. Oh, she thought I was talking to her. Kavina is taking home this tank and she's going to turn this into a, a little project at home. I really, really do love, I love the rock work. I absolutely love it. Um, just not for a mantis shrimp. For a macro tank, for showing off little inverts, it's really cool. I think the shape, you know, it just invites you in. It's just this funnel of like, oh, what's in here? So what would happen in the store is people would do that and then we say there's a mantis shrimp and then you'd never see it. So I'm gonna put some time into this. I really like the lights. Uh, I went and added some little buttons and some little icons so I know which is which. So you see over there on the right is a little pump and then we have a disco ball for the lights and then a heater and then our main light and then our ATO. So I'm just trying to keep it sort of organized and then our new ATO is installed with our slide out drawer. So this is a brief casa sort of prototype product and this way you can pull it out, ta-da! And then easily fill up your, your ATO without trying to like fumble this entire box. And I think that's about it. If you guys like the channel, you like what you see, you like everything related to reefing, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now.